Welcome. This is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. Did you know that there are over 6,000 blocks in the EQ8 library? That's going to make completing this particular project a breeze. Open Electric Quilt and on the home screen select New Project. And let's type in Christmas Feathered Star and select OK. On the home screen, select Search for Block Patterns, which is going to take you to the EQ Library. Under 01 Classic Piece, scroll down and locate Feathered Stars. To get a better close-up of the Feathered Stars, we can select Large, and then we can use the scroll bar to scroll through the options. I know that the star that I want is almost a variation of that feathered Lemoyne. But if I go to the one right after it, although the coloring looks different, the block itself is actually like the one in my quilt. So select the square in a square star, and it should be highlighted in blue, and select Edit to Block Work Table. Select the Color tab and color the block. Now I've already pre-selected some fabrics to work with and if we use the spray can we can select a new fabric and we can select a fabric in the block and every time it's used in the block it will replace with this new fabric. Use the spray can to recolor using a white, a light green, and a dark green. And then I'm going to use the red, and I'm going to use the paintbrush, which will only color one patch at a time, and color each of the uh, diamonds in the corners and the center. And for that uh, purple that's left, I'm going to select the white, use the spray can and do a replace for that. Now I want to figure out the size of block I want. I would like each of these squares to be a one inch finish size, which means our half square triangle units would be a one inch finish size as well. So select print and export and select rotary cutting. Select preview and if we zoom in on the key, the pieces I want to look at are pieces F and H. And so I can select Zoom Out, select Zoom In, and now I'm going to drag a box over the area I want to zoom in on. I'm going to release with my mouse, and it is saying that it is 1 and 3 sixteenths but that is with seam allowances. So I'm going to pull up the calculator on my computer. First of all, I need to figure out what 3 16 is. So 3 divided by 16, it's uh, one, uh, 0.1875. Just add the 1 inch to that. And then I'm going to subtract the seam allowances. So there is a quarter inch on all four sides. I need to subtract for two sides. So I'm going to subtract a half an inch. That means my finished size in the block that I currently have is 0.6875. Let me put that in my memory because I want that to be 1. So I'm going to take 1 and divide it by 0.6875, and that means I need to increase the block size by 145%. Now I can see if I look at the lower right corner, my current finish size is 10 and a quarter. So I'm going to multiply that times uh, my ratio, and my new block size is going to be 14.9. So let's go ahead and close and close this. And I close, and I'm going to go back to draw. I'm going to round up, so I'm going to change the size to 15 by 15. Go back to print and export. Select rotary cutting. Note that I have rounding selected to 1 16th of an inch. Then select preview. 
And if I zoom in on F and H, we can see that the cut size is one and a half for the square, which means the finish size will be one inch square. So go ahead and close and close. Then select the quilt work table and select a new quilt horizontal. Select the layout tab and change the number of blocks horizontal to one and vertical to three and change the finish size of the block to 15 by 15. Select the design tab, select set block and under the blocks tab scroll to the end Select either of the colored feathered star blocks and with the control or command key, click on one of the large block spaces in the quilt. Select the border tab and for the border, first one, we're going to make it a quarter inch. And so we're going to use the style long horizontal. We're going to make sure the lock size adjustment is set to all and then we can uh, double click on one of our numbers and just type in 0.25 and notice that all of them will change. Then select add. Let's make the size of the second border approximately the size of one of the large corner squares. Select the tape measure and drag from one edge to another of the corner square. Note that it is approximately 4.4 inches. Let's round that to 4.5 and change the size of border number 2 to 4.5. And then I'm going to add, and I'm going to make this a binding, so I'm going to select the style mitered. And I want this to be 0.375. If you cannot type in 0.375, the way we can make that available is to select work table options and then select snap settings. If yours says a quarter inch under the nudge settings, go ahead and use the drop down and change them to an eighth inch. Once you've done that, select OK. Double click to select one of the border sizes and type in 0.375. Select the design tab. Select Fabric Tools and select the eyedropper. This allows you to select a fabric from one of the blocks and then using the paintbrush and the controller command key, select one of the border pieces and it will color all four sides of the border at once. Let's try this again using the eyedropper and this time select the dark green fabric with the eyedropper and with the control or command key click on border number one and border number three. Select add to project mm -hmm. sketchbook. For another option let's swap out the red fabric with a more Christmassy one. Under fabric tools select open library. Click the minus next to colors and the plus next to themes. Scroll down and select 18 holidays winter. Let's select the second option which is glam holiday by timeless treasures and select add to sketchbook and close. Select swap color and drag the slider bar all the way to the end to select the newest fabric and click on one of the red patches in the quilt. Notice that they all have changed. Select Add to Project mm -hmm. Sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at onpointquilter.com.